Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In the last episode, we began our Miss Moppet applique piece from issue number 11. We traced, cut out and ironed on our bondweb and applique pieces onto my Crazy Daisy backing sheet. In the guide, the next step is to stitch around Miss Moppet in a white embroidery thread and to embroider in her markings and her eyes. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm going to stitch around her shapes using the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch around her shapes using a zigzag stitch set at number one, which is a tight, close zigzag. Her body pieces are going to be stitched in the grey and her dress in a blue. I haven't tried this before with our character squares, so it's something new and I'm going to give it a go. Let's set up our machine. But before I stitch onto the actual applique piece, I'm going to practice and work out my correct stitching with my scrap piece of fabric. I've got the stitch I'm after. I'm now going to change my cotton to grey and get cracking and start stitching Miss Moppet's body pieces. Final test before I begin. And that's looking good. Let's get stitching. nice and easy. I'm stitching with one side of the stitch on the grey fabric and the other stitch on to the backing fabric. This um, fabric often tends to fray around the edges for the appliques so I'm trying to avoid and stitch and cover up all the fraying and possible fraying in the future. So here we have Miss Moppet's head, which I've stitched around with the sewing machine using a zigzag. It's really quite neat and I like it. I haven't done this for any of the other character squares, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm going to now stitch around her tail, arms and feet in the grey. around her head and her paws, I'm now going to carefully stitch around her tail and her feet. The fabric's very hard to distinguish between the grey and the pale blue when you're stitching, so it could be a bit wonky donkey stitching. It's much easier to see the backing fabric and the grey and the light blue when you're stitching, so I'm just going to take my time. So the grey is stitched, 
I've stitched around all the grey pieces of Miss Moppet. I'm going to change my thread to a pale blue and stitch all around her dress. And she's looking good. I'm just going to stitch around the birdies. I'm just giving her a trim. I'm now going to be pressing her and showing you the final results. So here we have Miss Moppet and she's been stitched using the sewing machine. For all of my other character squares, I've stitched around the edge using a white embroidery thread by hand. This is the first time I've used the sewing machine and I'm really happy with the results. Not only the neatness on the front of the piece, but also if you look at the back, it's super neat and very impressive actually. If you compare one of my other character squares, which is hand sewn, my hand sewing is a bit dodgy, but if you compare the back, I know which one I like better. So the Miss Moppet applique pieces are stitched down. She's now a blank canvas. So join me next time when I paint in her features with fabric paint like we did with Benjamin Bunny Character Square. Thank you for joining me in the craft room today. It's been a first for me and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.